And that's another wicket to Australia. And he does the game. It's another six. Well, my 11 is Barry Richards. Great player, great player. Gordon Greenwich. In fact, Barry and Gordon opened the batting for uh, Hampshire. Gordon Greenwich was destructive. He could have even been a better player than he actually was. He's a fantastic player. My captain, Ian Chappell, the best captain I played under in Test Match Cricket. Coming in at number four, well, Viv Richards. To the office to later, Richards, it's a six. Uh, I reckon he could get a game in most people's 11. Coming in at number five, Jarvid Meandad. What an annoying little devil he was, but what a player. At number six, the best player, the best cricketer I've ever seen, Sagarfield Sobers. He could do anything. A man with all the gifts. He was just, he was a complete cricketer and a wonderful catcher as well. The genius of the game made flesh. At number seven, my wicketkeeper, the best I've ever seen by some margin, Alan Knott from England. He would probably save us, and if he didn't, the man coming in at number eight, Imran Khan, wouldn't do a bad job either. Coming in at number nine, Andy Roberts, the most feared fast bowler that I faced. Number 10, uh, my mate and my favourite fast bowler and the best fast bowler Australia's ever had, in my opinion, Dennis Lilly. He's gone. That is it. Well, never underestimate Dennis Lilly. At number 11, I went for Abdul Qadir from Pakistan, who was the best leggy that I played against. Well, there you go. That's my all-time 11. What's yours?